Hi there, my name is Dan and this is a free extract from my longer Dreamweaver course that's available on bringyourownlaptop.com. But don't worry, there's lots of free stuff here. Check out the description for the exercise file so you can play along with this tutorial. Also in the description, there'll be a link to the playlist that will show you all the stuff that is free as part of this course. All right, let's get on to the tutorial. Walter Scott, because I'm going to be the UX UI designer that I'm trying to rank for in Google. Contact us. Uh, why is it all capitals? Because I left the caps lock on. It should probably just be title case, but I'm okay with that. Nobody sees that in the background, but search engines. So now we're going to go and style it. And the cool thing about it is that um, we, if you remember, made a class called red button and green button. So we get to reuse that, right? So I get to style as a tag. This is where we get to start reusing things, right? And this is nice when you get to that point of the website where you're like, ah, oh, a lot of the hard work's done. You get to start reusing things instead of always trying to create new classes. So now we get to go dot and this one, remember we called it BTN at the beginning to make it easy to find, button red. Cool, so it's got a red background. Now that button red didn't come along with all the padding. We did that separately, if you remember. So I wanna steal the CSS from this button. Now we can't do it here in index page because it's part of the template and it just doesn't let you. If I click on it, okay, go to CSS designer panel. Um, let me turn all that off. Um, so yeah, click on this and it just doesn't really work. So we have to go open the template. And in here, I'm gonna to switch to current. Okay, remember current allows me to click on something and it actually gives me the classes that might be applied and it happens to be this top one. I know because if I click show set, it's gonna show me the things that are applied to that particular class and not everything. And yeah, you can see the padding and the text color and the removing the underline. So that's all the stuff we need. So there's a cool feature. We can right click this and say, copy all styles. There is an option in here also that says just the text styles or just the layout depending on what you want, but I want all styles. Cool, thank you template. Now I'm gonna apply it to this. Now I could go into here and create another class, okay, and style it with this. I'm gonna be a little bit more resourceful and use a compound selector. So what I'm gonna say is if there's a red button inside this hero box, then apply this text. So maybe go from current to all. Okay, styles, global, make a selector. It's picked bits of it, so uh, what do I want? You'll notice it hasn't put in the A tag, okay? So it's put in button red and hero content, but not the A tag. Let's just check if it works. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Okay, so with it selected, I'm gonna right click it and say paste styles. Hey, magic, so it is working. So now it's time to put some space between this horizontal rule, okay? Cause it's butted up next to it. So I would like you to go for the pause button now, hit pause, and I want you to think of what how you'd do it. Even go and try it, go, okay, this is what I'd do and see if you can give it a go. You can undo if it doesn't work, okay? Edit, undo and you can watch the rest of this video, but come down here wherever it is, pause, pause the button and have a think. Go now. You're not pausing, are you? Right, what I would do, there's actually a couple of things you could do. We could do um, this class here, with some margin at the top, okay? Or we could use this horizontal rule here, okay? I'm gonna do the horizontal rule, mainly because I'm looking at it go, actually I wanna do the space between there and underneath. So instead of trying to do them separately, I might as well just do the horizontal rule here. Go to current, there's my HR. I'm gonna turn off show set so I see them all and I'm gonna to go to layout and I wanna add, I wanna maybe minus some margin off the top. I'm just clicking, holding and dragging and put a load at the bottom there, okay? Either way would have worked. That compound class that we used, you could have created a new class that did spacing. That'd be kind of weird, but it would work. But what I did was I did the horizontal rule to play with both sides. All right, come in. Uh, let's save all and get on to... Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, go to Bring Your Own Laptop for the full premium version of this course. Also, on that website is a free resources section where you can download PDFs, especially for this, the Dreamweaver cheat sheet. Okay, it's a PDF, you print it off, stick it next to your computer, and be more awesome. Bye now.